Want to take your Twitter video up a notch by adding clickable links and titles? Then this video is for you. The process of uploading videos on Twitter is fairly simple. If your video meets the specified requirements, then uploading a video is just one click away. This is these last three Barbies. I'm just gonna shoot them. While it's fairly simple to upload videos on Twitter, if you wanna schedule your videos and add titles to them, then well, Fortunately, Twitter has a tool that will help you schedule videos, add titles, and give you the option to share your video with others. This remarkable tool is called Media Studio. Media Studio is a hub for all your photos, videos, and even GIFs. In addition to housing all of the media that you post on Twitter, Media Studio is also the place where you can broadcast live streams, schedule tweets from your library, and also view your Twitter analytics. Media Studio is not automatically added to your Twitter account. The process of signing up for this feature has changed over the last year or so. For this video, we will share the Twitter blog post we use to sign up for Media Studio. For some, it may work, and for others, well... Now that you're signed up for Media Studio and you're ready to post your first video, first things first. You need to make sure your video meets the specified requirements for posting on Twitter. To post on Twitter, the video must be a maximum file size of 512 megabytes, between one second, two minutes, and 20 seconds in length. On the web, Twitter supports the MP4 video format with H.264 formatting and AAC audio. Once you have verified that your video meets the requirements, the next step is to click on your profile icon picture and scroll down to Media Studio. It's usually located after analytics, but right before settings and privacy. And from there, you click upload media. Now that your video is uploaded, here are some things you can do with your video. If you are unhappy with your thumbnail that Twitter generated for your video, you can easily change the thumbnail by clicking on the change thumbnail button. When changing your thumbnail, you have the option to choose a frame from the video or you can upload a custom thumbnail. After you've made the necessary adjustments to your thumbnail, you can head over to settings. The settings tab is the place where you can add a title, description, category, and links to your video. If you wanna add a link, scroll to the call to action section. At the URL you would like for viewers to head over to click so that they can either be directed to a site or to watch more of the clip that you post. We've noticed that links seem to only appear on web Twitter. Third-party apps like TweetDeck or even mobile Twitter do not show the clickable link in the video. This next section we're about to show you is just... <laughs> the sharing section is where you can, well, share the video. If another user has Media Studio, you can share the video with them by entering their name in the people section. Once the video is shared with them, the user can then go to their library, scroll to the shared media, and all the videos that were shared with them will show up. I know you're wondering, well, what's so great about that? Well, <laughs> not only will the user be able to view the video, they will also be able to tweet the video onto their own timeline. They will have the option to tweet immediately or schedule the tweet for a later time frame. Ever wonder how Thumbstick Mafia was able to share other content creators' videos without ripping their content or re-uploading? Well, this is it. Another great feature is that you can assign various roles to other Media Studio users. To add access to your account, click on your Twitter name in the upper right corner and scroll to edit access to account. There you can assign someone to be a studio account administrator, a studio contributor, a studio publisher, or a studio analyst. A studio administrator can gain full access to your account, which includes the ability to add and remove users and change settings. A studio contributor can access to tweet from the account or act as the account. However, they cannot add or remove users. A studio publisher can access media from the library to use on their own accounts. A studio analyst has access to the analytics of the account. There you have it. Now let's see those uploads. Brought to you by Thumbstick Mafia. <laughs> Bye.